Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Dallas Way. Please welcome to the stage Miss Kay Wilkinson. Woohoo, darlings! Do we have a show for you tonight? But first, we want to take a moment to honor someone precious and special to all of us. And that will be done by our president and CEO, trust me, she'll tell you that, Evelou Pridgen, who we love to call Pridge. I've never called myself a CEO in my whole life. I just want you to be really clear about that. I don't know about corporations, don't want to, so we're all good. What, what I would like to do first is to thank the sponsors of um, this event because without you this would not have happened so I would just like to read their names Kay Wilkinson of course <laughs> Wendy Lopez and Connie Moore <laughs> Betty Molino and Joel Harris <laughs> Kathy Hewitt Barbara Rosenberg Bruce Jaster and Remy Tran Chris Luna, uh, Deb Floyd, no, 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 sorry, sorry okay, uh, Gary Sinclair, uh, George, George Harris, who could not be with us tonight, Mark Parker and Eric Johnson, Marsha Rosenberg, Mike Anglin, Rebecca Cavell, Robert Emery, Russell Busher, and Gordon Markley, Sherry Briggs, Steve Atkinson, and Ted Kincaid, and Vivian Armstrong and Louise Young. Thank you so much for your contributions. They mean so much to us as we continue to collect and archive, curate and archive all the history of the Dallas gay community. That's the most important thing we can do. So thank you very much for that. <laughs> Give yourselves a round of, a lot of applause for being here. Um, we've had a lot of loss in the last month. Here in Dallas, Baton Rouge, um, and I don't want to devalue any of those. One of the closest losses, and maybe most, most important to most of us here in this room, was Jack Evans. So I just want to reflect on him for a moment in his life, because we wouldn't be here if it were not for him. Um, We wouldn't be here tonight if it weren't for Jack and George. And Jack wouldn't be the man we knew without George. I always felt so special when I was with Jack. He always acted as if I had turned on the light in a dark room whenever he saw me. And I always felt so special. And then I realized that, as William Wayburn said, everybody felt that way with Jack. He made everyone feel special. So I would like to say, as William did, welcome to all of Jack's co-best friends. Now I was raised a Methodist, so um, the Bible wasn't really a big thing we learned. But anyway, I, I, didn't, I, I did learn one thing. Um, <clears throat> more than that, never mind. Um, when I think of Jack, I'm reminded of a verse from the book of Micah. To paraphrase it, seek justice, love mercy, and walk humbly. That was Jack. He and George started many organizations in this community. Then they wrote checks, they spent time and energy, and gave blood, sweat, and tears to help us all. We thank you for your life, Jack and for letting us be a special part of it. We're stronger because of you and George. Amen. 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 